There are a bunch of features in MindWaves that people don't know about, so I thought I'd whip through some of these today. One is that there's a block test world here, which can be handy for a variety of reasons. Uh, basically, you can go in and grab a chunk of this world, and it lists it using the uh, old school numbers from 1 to or 0 to 255. And those numbers can be handy, and you'll see why in a little bit. But let's just export for now. So uh, I've exported my files here. I'm going to open it with G3D and shove that over here. And you can see now that there's a bunch of uh, blocks exported. You can see the way that Minecraft will show those various kinds of blocks. And so this is just a way to sort of preview a bunch of different ways that uh, Minecraft does, you know, does an export. And let's say we go back now and we go to some other world. Do, do, do. There we go. So Mineways by default will bring you to the spawn point. So this is our spawn area for this. If you press F3, it jumps you to wherever the player is. So now let's say I export this area. And let's see. And it's auto-adjusted. And the cool thing here is, by the way, that you can do Control X, which I use a zillion times a day. And if you do Control X, what it does is it ex does the export again. So now I've reloaded it into my viewer, and there's my little, you know, my little garden, right? So let's say I say, well, I'd really like to put something right here, uh, some little memorial or whatever. So I go into Minecraft, and let's say I drop some blocks down. This is going to be the coolest thing I've ever built. And diamond, because everybody loves diamond. And yeah, torch. Okay, so there's my exciting monument to something or other. And you'll notice that Minecraft, uh, you know, you can change things in Minecraft. It doesn't immediately change in Mineways. Um, but if you go to Mineways and you at any point hit R, just the lowercase r, you'll see whatever you've built will now appear in your world. It, re it reloads the world, basically. So I've just reloaded this. It's now got this piece in it. Again, I can hit Control X. That exports again. I can hit R in the G3D program. And behold, here's my cool little object that I just built. So there's other cool things you can do with, uh, with Mineways that are handy, you may not know about. So let's say I export this and that might be kind of right, but let's just see. And now I've loaded in this thing. And yeah, that looks pretty good. And let's see. But maybe I say, oh, you know, I don't really like, let's say that. It's, you know, it's not quite where I want it. Um, you know, I can always expand out the, the borders a bit and just grab the border and drag. And let's see how that goes. Okay, so maybe I feel pretty good about that. And, uh, but then I say, eh, not so wild about that floating tree stuff going on over there. So one thing you can do is you can go add a color scheme. And let's see, I edit this and I say, uh, you don't have to call it anything, but we'll call it no trees. And there's actually a special thing. You can do hide tree blocks. And now what that's done is it's set a zero to these various spots. So once I have that in place, you'll notice all the trees have disappeared in mine ways. And if I export again, the trees uh, disappear here in the model too. So that can be handy if you're just trying to clean up a model and you don't like these little floating bits. And let's, uh, let's turn that back off. Um, there are lots of other cool things you can do with color schemes, by the way. Like, for example, let's say I... Uh, I want to do something like uh, mining, you know, well, like, let's just uh, go no grass. And what I can do there is I can set the alpha to zero. Basically, you're over, the only things you're ever going to really want to do here are set alpha to zero or 255. If I do that now, the no grass has just taken away all the grass, which may or may not be a good thing, but nonetheless, anyway, you can do it. And now you'll see if you export, all the grass has gone away. 
So that's about it. I just wanted to show some of these cool features. 